During the reign of King Louis-Philippe I of France, the stability of the nation was on a seesaw with previous revolutions, political unease, and a wavering public image of the crown. The reign of the king would be stressful, as with his time, seven attempts were made on his life. One of the most notable is the assassination attempt on the day of July 28, 1835 in Paris. An annual review was made by the King of the French National Guard, with the commemoration being for the earlier 1830 French Revolution. The king would be known to make a route to the barracks with his command staff. The route would take them down to Boulevard de Temple. A disgruntled ex-soldier by the name of Giuseppe Marco Fieschi had conspired with two other individuals to make certain this inspection by the king would be his last. Giuseppe, though not being known as a gunsmith, toiled over his project, the Machine Infernal, a collection of 25 gun barrels aligned along a wooden base structure with a linked touch hole system to allow all the barrels to be ignited simultaneously, thus providing a great volley of projectiles. Each barrel would be loaded with 6 to 8 lead round balls and an additional 14 slugs to allow as much damage as possible. The system itself was made inside an apartment overlooking the street on the third floor at 50 Boulevard du Temple. During the day of the 28th, the review was on way with the king, as predicted, riding down the boulevard with his entourage. As noon approached, the king would come under the building to which Giuseppe was waiting, though with a great flash and report, the machine had gone off, as though a line of musketeers had fired. Suddenly it was raining bullets, over 400 of them. Chaos ensued, many people were killed on scene, with a number of them being commanding officers, with civilians also being killed. The king was grazed along the forehead with a bullet, but survived, whilst his horse was injured and killed. A total of 18 people would be killed at the scene, with an additional 22 being injured. As the guns had gone off, some difficulties had presented themselves. Four of the barrels had misfired, one was incomplete and unloaded, and four had exploded. Giuseppe was seriously injured from the explosion in the room, with blood pouring from his head, face, and hands. After attempting to flee, Giuseppe was quickly appended and a trial was set. During the trial, he was said to be boastful and confident he would be let go. He was sentenced to death and beheaded by the guillotine on the 19th of February, 1836. The Machine Infernal still exists and remains on display to this day, where you can see it in all its jury-rigged splendor.